Oh, wow. Just look how beautiful this is. Oh, my goodness. And there's Vulpix down there. I think I saw... I saw something really interesting. I think a parasect. Oh, look at the size of him. I want him. I want him as mine so bad. But hello, everyone. So welcome back. I am Pixelmon Ranger Siri, and we are here in our world going on an expedition to try to find as many amazing Pokemon as we possibly can before our pockets are too full and we have to turn around and go home. But things are going great, and I really want that guy. So we're going to gently float down. Oh, my gosh. Look at the size of him, Flight. Oh, flight. Who's what? 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 Oh, we started a wild not to. All right, so let's see. Flight. Look at this parasect. He's a giant mushroom. Imagine what he could do. He might be really good for getting some mushrooms growing in our own area. So let's see. No! Too strong. Too strong. Flight. Oh, and this little not to is fighting us. All right. Well, Ember. All right. Well, that was that was a quick series of battles that we just won. But ah. But yes, so today we are diving in. Oh, look, there's another Vulpix. Amber, I wonder if you would like a mate, actually. Let's see, squirt gun. Let's see if this is a, a, Amber's a girl, right? Yeah, Amber's a girl. Let's see if this is a little boy Vulpix. Hello, little boy one. Turtle. It is a little boy Vulpix. Let's boy get him. Turtle. Oh, dang it, we were too strong again. <laughs> no, oh my gosh, too overpowered, too overpowered. We need to be more gentle. One of the entire points of being a Pixelmon Ranger is keeping a wide set of Pokemon at all sorts of levels with you so that you can hopefully, oh, look, there's a Wild Atkins, so that you can hopefully interact with Pokemon of all different strengths and levels and capabilities and not overwhelm them. Oh, I hear the Rattata. And here's some more Paracel Mushrooms. We can take these back into town to sell. Oh, good. Oh my gosh, they're the tiniest baby Rattata ever. Oh, so cute. So cute. I love that. All right, and look at this forest. Where on earth are we now? A seasonal forest. Oh, wow. Oh, I w we'll have to see if some Pokemon show up in it. We'll kind of follow between the two. We'll go between the shield biome and the seasonal forest. There's lots of Ekans here. All right, let's pop down here. I see another parasol mushroom. Good to collect. And a little leaf shard, also good to collect those away oh my gosh look at the view here it's just beautiful it's beautiful and we're a little bit too strong recently for some of the the fights we've been in so let's do our best to try to go gently and gather up more members of the family there's a little starly okay so starly hang out in the shield biomes it looks like they were coming down to get a drink from this adorable little pond all right oh is that a shinx I think that's a Shinx. Oh, let's go over and see if we can catch it. All right, I see him. And is that a Shinx or a flower? Turtles. Pretty sure. Yeah, it's a Shinx. Okay, Squirt Gun, you might be a little bit strong for that. So let's try. Oh, he's currently in battle with the Ekans. Oh, I wonder if these Shinx are opportunistic feeders and they will actually eat Ekans. That's so fascinating. All right, let's clear away these. Nope, yes, okay, good little one, good little one. Initiate a battle with us, good. Okay, well, we're gonna swap out. Let's go with Dweeble. All right, Dweeble. We're gonna try to use, let's use Rock Blast. Ooh, that was really effective, oh my gosh. And that was really effective too, okay. Um, um, let's try a Pokeball. Come on, little one. Oh, it's so pretty. It's a little girl too. All right. Come on. Yes, we caught it. Good job, Dweeble. Oh, I'm so proud of you. All right, so our Dweeble did quite well there. Lots and lots of little baby Starly roaming around. Maybe I'll have Noodles come out and poke them. Because that's how Pokemon become stronger. I, I spent a long time feeling conflicted about it, but that is how Pokemon become much stronger, is being able to engage in battle. Oh my gosh, it's a Teddy Ursa. Or a Teddy. Or a, no, not a Teddy Ursa, but it's one of the Teddies. Hello, little one. Can I see your cutie self? Can I see your cute little self? Hold still for a second. Oh my gosh, you're adorable. Oh, yeah, it is a teddy ursa. A wild little teddy ursa. Look at him go. Oh, parasol mushrooms. Oh, we're going to make so much money when we go back in town. We've got a mill tank to trade in. We've got uh, parasol mushrooms. More parasol mushrooms. 
All right, little tiny Ursa. I wonder what you're made out of. All right, let's try a little fight with him just to see what happens. Ooh, he's not that weak. But Ember was stronger. <gasps> and we got leather. And Ember has grown to level 31. And now she could no payback. The user stores power, then attacks. If the user can... If the user can use this attack after the target, the power is doubled. Um, I know payback's supposed to be pretty strong, too. Hmm. But it doesn't seem like something Ember would do. Remember, guys, we don't always pick the moves based on what is strongest or most effective. For our adventure as Pixelmon Rangers, we pick the moves that seem to follow the story or the personality of the Pokemon the most. And I don't think payback is something that she would want to know, but leather! Leather is so important to get our hands on! Oh my gosh! We might have to poke a few more Teddy Ursa if we happen to find any. Alright, let's definitely get these mushrooms, though. Alright, here we go. A little parasol mushrooms. We are going to be rich, rich when we go back. Rich, 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 rich. Alright, so let's see. Anybody down here? <gasps> more parasol mushrooms! Okay, that's good. Jump into the leaves! Ouch, it still hurt a little bit. Oh, wow, and look at this cave! This cave is the coolest thing ever! Look at it! Oh, my goodness. Lots of moss growing everywhere. It's perfect for somebody to come and hide in. Nobody down here just yet, though. Alright, doing good on the parasol mushrooms. Alright, and let's climb on up. There's a Pidgey. Pidgeot? Pidgeotto? Pidgeotto. Hmm... I wonder if I should poke it. Is everybody healed up? Yeah, Noodles is healed up. Noodles, I'm going to have you poke this Pidgeotto. A natural prey item for Noodles. The Ekans. And let's see how this fight goes. Bite! Alright, let's try Screech. Alright, defense loss and bite again! Okay, clearly the Pidgey is winning. Yep, Pidgey's winning. Alright, let's switch over to Yen. Do you want to help us out? This is a good chance for both of you to get some seriously important um, skills down. Yes, there we go! So between the two of them, Noodles and Yen have just gained some experience points. Wonderful. Alright, who hasn't been out yet? Yeah, Dweeble just barely hang on with Sturdy. So Dweedle's almost done. Ember's not feeling her best. So it looks like just Squirt Gun. <laughs> just Squirt Gun has the energy and we've hardly even wandered away from the village. I cannot believe it. That's what we get for poking Pokemon. All right, so let's see. Maybe we should just jump on the back of flight. Wow, this shield biome. It's very pretty. It really is. It's a beautiful mix of different different things, different like moss, and then you've got these rocks. We have a little Starly. So a lot of you are like forest type Pokemon, and look at this. Wow. What a view. What a view! I want to go down there. Let's go down there and check out what's going on. Oh, sorry, Squirt Gun. Alright, flight. Let's head on down. And let's see what's happening down here, huh? Alright. Oh, wow. Water Lotus. Flight, it's Water Lotus. Look at them. Sacred Lotus. We gathered up a whole bunch of them. And apparently, we can, these will create a crop. So I want to keep the lotus. The lotus would be perfect, don't you think, Flight? And being able to put into our Goldeen area. No Goldeen in the area, though. Hmm. Alright, sorry, Flight. I know you have a hard time when you're in the water. Alright, let's swim over here and gather these up. We really might be able to get that famous uh, fisherman in in no time if we keep it up like this. Did I pick those up? Oops, sorry, Flight. I didn't mean to throw you in the water again. Yeah, let's gather up this duckweed. And we might be able to attract... I'm hoping if we attract him, he'll be able to tell us all sorts of awesome lessons about where to find some very rare, maybe even legendary, uh, water types. Also, I need to eat real quick before we continue our adventure onward. And let's put some of these specimens away. There we go. Don't need the oak sapling, actually. There we go. Look at all of those parasol mushrooms we've gathered. That should really help us out when we get back into town. We can clear out a few of these things, though. Definitely keeping the leather. Leather's very awesome that we managed to get that. All right. And a little bit of a nibble. Nom, 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 nom. There we go. Feeling better. All right. And let's go ahead and flight. Come on out. 
And we're going to adventure and explore around here just a little bit more. Oh, wow. This is possibly one of the most... Oh, there's another, there's another Vulpix. Who was that? Oh, it's a cute, cute little baby Caterpie. Look at all these Caterpie here with this Vulpix. They must have just hatched at the same time. Not the, not the um, Vulpix, but I mean the Caterpie. All right, Squirt Gun, help us out here. We're going to be gentle this time. Another Vulpix. Eh. A mate. Possibly a mate. Oh, Vulpix, stop moving. Oh my gosh. I can hardly see where we're going to. Vulpix, stop moving, please. Oh my goodness. We're like battling it out on the cliffs. Vulpix! Vulpix, where are you going? Oh my gosh. Um. Yes! Alright, there we go. Tackle. Good, good, good. Okay, um. Mm, dang it. Another tackle might actually knock that little one out. Do I have anybody? Yen, can you help me here? Alright, Yen, let's use bite. Alright, good. Good job, Yen. Even though you were confused, you did it. Alright, let's see if we can catch this little one. Come on. Come on, little Vulpix. Come be our friend. It's a girl, so it'll be a female friend. Yay! Alright, so we have a new friend for our little Vulpix. So we have a new friend for Ember. So at least she can have a buddy, even if uh, we don't have a mate for her just yet. Alright, so let's climb in bed. There we go. And put down these brown leaves again. Whew, man, it's kind of nerve-wracking, uh, like, sleeping on the edge of this big, giant shield pond cliff thing. But this is one of the most beautiful areas I think we've found yet. Oh my goodness. Alright, Flight, let's keep going for a little bit longer. Let's see what we discover. The seasonal forest is so pretty, too. Oh my gosh, and look at this. Oh my goodness. Look, there's pumpkins! And there's wild... wild what? Oh, wild staravia and a geodude? Sorry, Flight, I know I landed us in a pond again. Whoa! And there's a whole bunch of everybody behind us. Wow, look at all of these guys. <gasps> there's another parasect! Flight! Flight, help me! We need to catch him. We'll be more gentle this time, Flight. Oh, he's in a fight with the geodude! I wonder what on earth could a Parasect and a Geodude have to fight over, you guys? What do you think led to that? Alright, let's see what we can do here. Tackle! Oh, poison! No, not poison! Twister! Oh, dear. Okay, uh, we don't want to use anything too strong, though. Tackle! Alright, tackle again! Come on, Flight! You did it, Flight! You did it! We should be able to catch him now! Uh, he's a bug type. Let's try using a netball pretty sure he's a bug type. Oh, are we gonna get him? Do we have a parasect to help me grow a mushroom garden? We have a parasect to help me grow a mushroom garden! Oh, that's fantastic! Alright, we're gonna try to run back to the village. I don't want to get flight out for this run because she's been damaged. Uh, but if we find anybody... Let's see. And this actually might be good training for us. Just to, to get the scale of how far flight can help us fly and discover. A little starly. Oh, what's over here? Oh, it's a little Pidgey. How cute. Wow. I mean, look at this. It's so pretty. I love this area. This is probably one of my favorite places that we've discovered yet. It's full of moss. It's full of avocados and walnuts apparently growing on the same tree. <laughs> it's full of cliffs, so we have to be very careful about our step. <gasps> a teddy ursa. Oh my gosh, it's a teddy ursa. Like a really, really, whoops, really big teddy ursa. Oh my goodness. I want to get a good look at it. I don't want to poke it. I think he'd eat me. Whoop. An ursa ring, I mean. You appear to be having troubles, my friend. Well, I can't just... Let's see if we can help him out. We're rangers, so this is what we do. When you wonder who's going to help take care of the wild Pokemon, that's our job, guys, as rangers. There we go. So hopefully this will make a little path that he can get out. And actually give us a good chance to get down here and get an even better look at him. Look at him! Maybe he's just like taking a bath right now. So there we go. I can leave in good conscience because I know he'll be able to work his way back out from the little hole that he's currently in. 
Yeah, look at him. Oh, that's so cool. I don't think anybody that we have would be able to poke him, though. And he, we don't want him to poke us. Oh, but look at him. Jeez Louise. Phew. I wonder if they raid right back into the hole, too. But at least we know we can get out. But I wonder if they actually raid, um, maybe Beedrill, Beedrill Nest to eat the larva. Or maybe, uh, Humby or honeycomb, like the humby, uh, honeycombs. I wonder if they raid those. I imagine they're quite the pest among some Pokemon. All right, so we're almost back to the village, I think. I'm pretty sure it's, yeah, right there. Oh, and there's an Ekans, who are you fighting with? A Rattata. Very interesting to see how often Ekans and Rattata are fighting with each other. Oh, and there's more of the beautiful little Swablu. Oh, wow, they really sat down around here. And they're fighting with that Nido King or Nido Queen. I can't see from here. Nidoran, excuse me. They're fighting with that Nidoran. I wonder why. Ouch, ouch. Oh my gosh. Prickly lettuce. We found it. All right. So we're going to come over here. Hello, villagers. Good to see you again. I know I'm back a lot sooner than I anticipated. That's because my whole Pokemon team kind of took some hits. We're going to pop them in. There we go. And then let us jump on the back of flight and just head off into the distance a little bit and see what we find before we touch down for the day. All right, flight, let's do this. Oh, it's so beautiful. I know, right, flight? It reminds me that we need to get you a mate and get you your own nest. And maybe, maybe we'll be able to raise your children. What do you think about that, flight? Oh my gosh. <gasps> sunflowers! There's sunflowers! Where is this? Where are we now? A meadow! Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. We're in a meadow! We're in a meadow! Oh my gosh. All right, Flight. Come on in. It looks like a very calm, calm meadow too. And it's so up high. I wonder if it's pretty isolated from everybody else. It's kind of like a mountainous meadow, to be honest. It's not just like a normal meadow. Oh my goodness, and look down there. Is that all part of a meadow too? All right, so we're in a meadow right now. And if we wiggle down here, let's grab this. More apricorns to sell later. Are we still in a meadow? This is a very forested meadow, in my opinion. Like there's a lot of forest going on in this meadow. All right, what about over here? Oh my gosh, there's another one of those crag biome areas. And a meadow forest. I get it now. So the meadow leads into the meadow forest. And where else? Where else? Let's get back on flight real quick and check out what's up above. Oh my gosh. <gasps> another village! No way! And look at what it's in the shadow of. Look at this thing! This is huge! This is huge! Whoa, Flight! Easy there, girl. Easy there. Oh my gosh! Talk about adventure. So it is in the shadow of this giant crag. And we need to come over. And now we have yet another place we can touch down, maybe leave a healer behind. And visit with the small, small little group of people who are living here including a farmer. So we have a little farming family. But all right, everybody, I'm going to settle in. We'll see if they will allow us to maybe put a healer here. And then we are going to have to start investigating what's going on in this beautiful crag biome. Oh, it's glorious. And then maybe see if we find anything in the meadows. Oh, that would be so fun. All right. And a little tinker. Oh, so fun. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.